my humble game room. As GameRave TV continues its journey through the PlayStation library, these review videos will take you through every twist and turn that such a massive beast hides within. Having covered fighting games, role-playing games, movie tie-ins, and more, it's time to once again open up to a new category. Children's games. Today's game review centers around Mattel's Princess of the Cash Flow, Barbie. Specifically, Detective Barbie The Mystery Cruise, one of five Barbie games available for the PlayStation. In this 2000 year release, the blonde ambitions of our favorite every girl bring her to the middle of the ocean while she investigates the theft of three art pieces. Said objects were wrongfully removed from a cruise ship and hidden among the three islands surrounding it. Using her detective tools and wits, Barbie must quickly find the culprit before it's too late. The game starts off in the ship's art gallery where Barbie and Ken go over what's currently wrong. Behind them is an empty display missing a headpiece, a painting, and an object that rests on the right side podium. From there, Barbie will need to explore the ship and talk to all passengers and crew on board to gather clues. As you move around the ship, you'll also pick up physical clues like a captain's hat and will need to lift fingerprints off of locations as well. This is where the game actually shines as it gets you involved in the process of actual fingerprinting, just simplified for the target audience. Using a set of modified accessories, Barbie uses an infrared lipstick to first find the fingerprint, then the powder from her compact to dust, and finally the camera on her cell phone to record the newly found fingerprint. These partial prints are then stored in the Barbie computer, and once you acquire all of them, must correctly align them to discover who the suspect really is. Aside from the gadgets, other tools that come into play include a spade, compass, and treasure map to find one of the missing art pieces, and a key to gain access to one of the cabins. This leads us to the game's locations. Starting here on the ship, you'll have access to the art gallery, dining room, both sides of the cabins, the bridge, and the always important pool. Once you've uncovered all the secrets here, you can hop to the three different islands to play various minigames and gain access to the missing treasures or other little trinkets. These minigames include riding jet skis, paragliders, an odd intentional remake of the 2600 game Fishing Derby, and then the cruise ship standard shuffleboard. The minigames are pretty well done, both graphically and control-wise, which makes one wonder why the rest of the game seems so phoned in. Visually, it plays like Resident Evil, but with normal controls, where up is up and down is down. The boat, while appearing to be rather immense and multi-leveled, only really gives you access to the main floor's worth of areas. The three islands live up to their names as there's only two or three screens available for exploration. Even more annoying, finding the missing artifact on one of the islands will actually automatically send you back to the boat, forcing you to return to finish up any item collecting and reloading screens. Once you acquire the final thumbprint, the suspect takes you on one last spin around the paraglider and jet ski minigames, after which Barbie corners the criminal and the final cinematic plays. A nifty aspect is that the game will randomize who the evildoer is each time, so it does have some replay value. The caveat to that comment is that the only real useful clues are the fingerprints, so it's essentially a game of playing minigames as fast as you can to see who the random culprit is. For everything that the game does well, there is an equally bad or worse problem that buries the good stuff. As you've already noticed thanks to my intentionally leaving them in, the load times are atrocious. Unlike other games that will sneak a few small areas between loading screens, Barbie must do this between every room. When you switch to the mini games, you'll actually sit through a load screen that's loading a different load screen since the game needs to swap out engines. It turns what is essentially an hour or so worth of gameplay into about three hours. To make things worse, when Barbie needs to vocalize something, her in-game avatar comes to a complete halt. She literally cannot walk and talk at the same time, something I'm not sure was a subtle blonde joke on the developer's part or considering the amount of load times, perhaps an effect of the game not being truly optimized for the hardware. There's a final problem that may not be so easily tossed aside, as I am clearly not the target audience here. When developing a children's game, there really shouldn't be a difference in how it's approached compared to a grown-up's game. You want it to be fluid, easily digestible, and most importantly, engaging. Along with the awkward inability to walk and talk, whenever Barbie engages another character, both of them just stand there motionless. I'm going to safely assume it was meant to allow the child gamer to focus on what is being said, but then would they even be paying attention when it looks like Barbie isn't either? To add to that, everything in the game is explained verbally. Everything. Many of these explanations go on for way too long. So long, in fact, that I couldn't tell you what was said about any of the Barbie computer parts, as it was quicker just to press buttons and sort it out for myself. In the end, Detective Barbie has a few things going for it, but weird presentation oversights and loading times that almost surpass late-release Neo Geo CD disasters drag it off the list of games worth really playing. In the modern era, there are much better games with more engagement and creativity like Minecraft or half a billion apps on a mobile device. If you're in need of one for a complete set, they almost are always five bucks or less. I actually found myself enjoying it the first few minutes, but sadly that disappeared somewhere in the 20th load screen. 
All right, another game down with only about eh, 1,270 or so more reviews to go. That does it for this week. If you have any questions about the game or the video, leave them down below. As always, check out my other videos, and most importantly, play games. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Have a great one.